Traversal and environmental transitions can be a varied thing. It can involve shooting and those roll up style garage doors, disappearing platforms, more types of shooting, and things that are just plain odd. Hey, it's Aaron from GameEnthus.com, and this is an EP review of Semblance for the Nintendo Switch. It might be on other platforms by the time you're watching this, or it might not, so yeah. My interpretation is that things were going well until they weren't, and somebody, you, has to do something about it. If you assumed there was a dash, you'd be right. If you assume there weren't environmental puzzles that involve reshaping the environment around you, then you were very, very wrong. You'll also go around collecting these things that I've cleverly named collectibles. And of course, there's an undo move. It's important to know what you're up against, even if it involves plant life. Sometimes you're looking for one collectible, but typically there's more than one to acquire. A quick glance at the tree will let you know just how well you're doing. The puzzle element of Semblance is extremely enjoyable. You have to indulge me as I am showing some of the solutions for some of the puzzles. Some things just can't be helped. There are also mobile collectibles. Inevitably, things get more difficult and your moveset is at times intentionally limited, so think fast. While there are no voiceovers or text, as far as I know, there is art that can be found within the levels on the walls and in the background that often do tell a story. And because there is no spoon, you must eventually learn to bend yourself. The difficulty can fluctuate in some interesting ways. Full disclosure, I did get stuck from time to time. Semblance could occasionally get a little bit buggy, but a quick reset got me right back into the action. When I say buggy, I mean something along the lines of sometimes your blob character might end up embedded in the solid object that maybe it wasn't supposed to be. A quick reset will leave you right back on the same screen. Maybe some of the objects that you've moved have shifted back. Maybe not. Not a big deal. Overall, I found Semblance to be a very, very fun and enjoyable game. Some of the difficulty spikes seemed interesting where one puzzle will be really simple and the one following it, you know, I might have got stuck on for 10 minutes. Maybe it's just me. Maybe just some of the levels that are bunched together sometimes don't always have an equal amount of challenge to them. Nevertheless, I still think Semblance is definitely worth your time, especially if you like platforming games and platforming games that involve a lot of puzzles. 
I did not expect for the blob character itself to alter its shape in order to traverse the environment. Good job. So that's about it. Those are my thoughts on Semblance for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you played a Semblance? If you did, did you enjoy it? If you're interested in playing it, let me know what your thoughts are down there. Feel free to click on some of these other videos, which you can also comment on, like, and share. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I think that's about it. Have a good one.